Hello, let's talk about hamstrings today and actively stretching them. You can lay on your back and do a band assisted stretch. You can stand and prop your foot up and reach towards your toes. Um, but let's do that more actively instead of statically. So a good thing to do before you start this series is to simply hinge at the hips, reach down, see how far you can go. If you are tight, you're not gonna be able to reach to the floor the way I am right now, but in, I just went through this series before I started this video too, so I'm sort of cheating, okay? But just kind of assess where you're at and then go through this series with me. Get a heavier kettlebell or one single dumbbell. You're gonna do like a deadlift, but you're gonna hold. So hinge forward, pulling the hips back, hold four or five counts, and then pull back to the top, squeezing your glutes. So you're gonna do four to five reps. Holding down. You might not be coming as far as me. If your hamstrings are a little bit tighter, you not, might not be coming parallel to the floor. You really wanna honor your body and what works. And some people might be coming further than me, especially if you have longer legs and longer arms. So find what feels best for you, but you should not feel negative tension in your low back. You wanna keep those abs tight and shoulders down. All right, so four to five reps, pulling for four to five counts. Second exercise, no weight needed. You're gonna do the same movement pattern, but the arms are gonna reach out in front as you pull the hips back. You don't want your knees locked out when you do any of these. So just be mindful of that. Awesome. And then from there, we're gonna flow. So one foot forward, move the heel down, toes up, reach down, sweep up and around and switch the foot. Reach down, back is straight, up and around, switch. So do about 10 of these total. And then when you're done those 10, do another reassessment. Reach down and see if you're coming further to the floor with your hands. And you might be able to, that's usually really good. Um, but don't fret if you don't, but this is a really great series to do if you've been sitting for a long period of time. Don't just jump up and start doing it because again, you don't want to rush into things, but again, it's active. It's active stretching. Um, and use it as a warm up before a workout or maybe before you go for a walk or something. It takes just a couple minutes. I hope you enjoy.